there, welcome over here today. I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you. I'm gonna be showing you some of my family's favorite dinners that are all either $5 or less. I got a request to do this video a couple weeks ago, so that's why I'm making it. These meals are all delicious. We're not compromising flavor or anything of that made of that nature, they're all delicious. But I hope you guys had a wonderful week this past week and I hope you are all doing well, but let's get to cooking. We're gonna start out by making some homemade marinara sauce. You could buy canned marinara sauce at the store for pretty cheap, but making it at home is very, very inexpensive and it just tastes so much better and you know what ingredients are actually in your sauce. So to get this one started, I am just dicing up one medium sized onion into smaller pieces. To my Dutch oven, I added a tablespoon of olive oil, let that get hot, and then I added our diced up onion. I'm going to let this onion get soft. Once it is soft, I'm going to add in our garlic. This is three cloves of garlic. Adding fresh garlic is very inexpensive to recipes. It stays fresh for a while, and then it makes your food just taste so much better. So we love cooking with garlic in our home. So now that the garlic is fragrant, I'm going to be adding in two teaspoons of some dried basil, or you could add Italian seasoning, whatever your preference is. To cut the acidity of the crushed tomatoes that we will add in a moment, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of some sugar that will really help out. I've added brown sugar in the past and that also tastes delicious. Then I added in our 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes along with a fourth a cup of water. We like ours a little bit thinner so that is why I added the water. I'm going to stir this all together, bring it up to a simmer and I let this simmer on my stove for about 40 minutes. Now I'm going to add my half a pound of spaghetti to this pot of boiling water. I got this entire thing of spaghetti noodles for so cheap at Kroger, my store. Kroger puts those noodles on sale, that specific brand, very often, so keep an eye out for that brand. Anyways, I just added our spaghetti noodles to that sauce once each of those were cooked. And then this is the finished product. This marinara sauce spaghetti mixture is delicious. It is also a meatless meal, so if you are meatless, this is perfect. You could also add ground sausage to this and then that will also boost up the flavor and then add some protein if you, you know, want some meat in there. For a rice casserole, I actually made this pretty often when my husband and I were first married. We didn't have a ton of money and this is just really, really good. So to my Dutch oven, I'm adding this pound of ground turkey. I got this ground turkey for half off at my local Kroger. They had it on sale, so I actually got a few of them. They freeze well, so just keep that in mind. Now that my turkey is completely cooked, I'm only gonna be adding about a teaspoon of this taco seasoning. To my turkey, I'm going to stir it all together and then add a small amount of water to scrape all of the bits off of the bottom of the pan. Now I'm adding in my can of petite diced tomatoes. I prefer petite diced tomatoes over regular diced tomatoes. That's just my preference. I'm going to stir this all together and then we're going to be adding in our box of rice aroni Spanish rice and then I'm going to follow the directions on the back of that as far as adding the liquid in and the um, cooking time. So I'm just going to follow the back for that. Now that our rice is completely cooked, I just gave this a stir to fluff it up. And now here is my bowl. I topped mine with some fresh onion and cheese. Onion is very, very inexpensive. This is delicious. Like I said previously, I made it a lot when Will and I were first married. It's just very budget friendly. Now I'm showing you these fajitas. I grew up in New Mexico and my mom made fajitas all the time growing up. These are the ingredients I'm using. I only used one chicken breast. This chicken was on sale. It's typically on sale at Kroger or Smith's. And now I'm just chopping up my one bell pepper and one onion. I do want to mention green bell pepper is always less expensive than the other colors of bell pepper I have found. So just keep an eye on that. It's actually significantly less money. Thank you. 
to my pan, I'm going to drizzle a tablespoon of some olive oil right in there. I'm going to let it get hot and then add my one chicken breast. You're going to want to season your chicken breast now. You can make your own homemade fajita seasoning or buy fajita seasoning. I'm just using some more of that taco seasoning that we just used in the last recipe because I didn't want to have to buy some more fajita seasoning. That's just my preference. I think it still tastes good with taco seasoning. I'm gonna do this to both sides. You could also bake your fajitas. I typically do that when I make more fajitas, but anyways, once that was cooked, I removed it, and now I'm adding an additional tablespoon of olive oil to my pan, added my fajita veggies in there, and now I'm adding some more of that taco seasoning. I'm going to cook those veggies up. Once they are cooked, I added our cut up chicken. I'm going to stir this all together, and now it is ready to serve. Here is the finished product. This is amazing. It turns out delicious. I love how you add that bell pepper onion in there. It adds great freshness for a very, very low cost. This is absolutely delicious and very filling. Now we're making a turkey sausage broccoli rice casserole. This one is another wonderful one. It's very filling and then also you add the broccoli so it adds some veggie to it. This is my turkey sausage. I got it on sale at Kroger. I'm just going to begin to chop it up into smaller pieces just like this. To my Dutch oven, I'm just adding a tablespoon of some olive oil. Once that olive oil is hot, I'm going to add our turkey sausage. I'm just going to brown it since this turkey sausage is already cooked. It doesn't really need to be cooked. It's just browning for additional flavor that will be in it. It's time to add the one cup of chicken broth in. I'm going to scrape the bits off of the bottom of the pan just because that's where a lot of the flavor lies is in the bits. That's just how it is. Now I'm adding my one bag of broccoli cuts. I do prefer the broccoli florets. So just look for the broccoli florets. My store didn't have it. And then I also added in my one cup of already cooked rice. This is just white rice I used. You could use brown rice as a substitute and I cooked mine in the instant pot. So now to season this up, I'm just using garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and some paprika. All of these seasonings are very inexpensive. Now that my casserole is pretty much made, if you don't have a Dutch oven, this is the point where you could remove this casserole and put it into a casserole dish. But since I do have a Dutch oven and it is oven safe, I just placed the cheese right on top and this is gonna bake in the oven on 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Here is the finished product. Whenever I make this, we have plenty of leftovers for the next day because this makes quite a lot of food. This also has great flavor. Now we're making this minestrone soup. This is the type of recipe where you can't knock it until you try it. It is delicious. I found this recipe a little while ago. I believe it's a Weight Watchers recipe and I knocked it at first. I was like, this can't be good, but I tried it and it's delicious. So to my Dutch oven, I added one can of diced tomatoes along with this package of frozen mixed vegetables. Now I'm adding this can of minestrone soup. I always stock up on these when they go on sale. They just so happen to run a sale after Christmas at my Kroger, so I picked up a few of them. Now I'm adding in two cups of some chicken broth along with one can of some drained corn and a can of drained and rinsed black beans. To flavor this up, I did add some Italian seasoning. I'd say about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of that. You're gonna stir this all together and let this simmer covered for about 15 minutes. Here is the finished product. This is my bowl of soup. I topped mine with some Parmesan cheese and parsley flakes. This is really good for how inexpensive it is and how vitamin rich it is. So many nutrients. My family enjoys it. My little daughter, she's one and a half. She especially loves it. It's really easy for her to eat. 
And that is a wrap of this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and found a recipe that you might be able to make yourself. If you have any of your family's favorite dinners that are only $5 or less, I would love to hear them in the comments down below. And I'm sure others would love to hear them too, but I hope you're doing well. And if you are new here, we'd love to have you. So go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.